Why should I feel discouraged? Oh, why should the shadows come? Oh, why should my When Jesus is my portion, a constant friend to me, his eye is on the spirit. And I know that you are just me. I don't know if you live where I live, surrounded by danger, drugs, and violence. My whole squad seen people killed. Everybody knows somebody that's been locked up. It's hard to be young and surrounded by darkness. Growing up, gunshots were my lullabies. I used to hum hymns from church to help my baby brother go to sleep. But once his eyes were closed, who was there to comfort me? It's hard to be young and surrounded by darkness. I remember fighting in elementary school Teachers just stared at us. Every once in a while, someone would break us up, but we were the bad kids. We never listened. Even when they yelled, teachers yelled, mama yelled, daddy yelled. But even when I tried my hardest, the yelling never stopped. It's hard to be young and surrounded by darkness. Middle school came and went, same patterns repeated. They kept telling me the same thing. You're the bad kid. You can't learn. You deserve this. You don't deserve any better. After a while, I stopped watching TV, stopped reading magazines. And I started to believe what they told me. I am bad. I am unkind. And I would never amount to nothing. No. I don't believe that last part. I will be somebody. I will become important. They want to see me be bad? <laughs> I'll be ruthless. I'll take what I can from anybody and show no mercy. You won't be me surrounded in darkness. I was 16 when I got locked up. I don't even remember all what happened. Doctors say I may never remember. I do know it was winter. I got in a fight. I was badly wounded, but I was the lucky one because I made it out alive. I write to you from inside this prison cell that I may never get out of. Now I truly know what it's like to be surrounded by darkness. I don't ask you to pity me. Pity is worthless in here anyways. Instead, I ask you to talk to the kids of your life. Talk to your sons, your daughters, your nieces and nephews. Ask them about the challenges they're going through and actually listen to what they got to say. Talk to the kids you see in your communities, the ones you see playing outside or singing in your local church. Talk to the 
these elected officials you voted for and tell them about the changes that you need to see happening. Sponsor places like the Boys and Girls Club who actually take the time to cherish every kid that walks through their doors. I once heard a saying that it takes a village to raise a child. So imagine what would happen if an entire city came together and actually looked after our kids. It may be too late for me, but it's not too late for my baby brother. It's not too late for your kids. 